Hey guys, Harsh here from CoinSutra and CoinSutra is a Bitcoin wallet expert blog where we talk about Bitcoin wallets, where we talk about cryptocurrency and we talk about how you can make money from Bitcoin and cryptocurrency world. So in the last video, I shared the unboxing video of Trezor hardware wallet and in this video, I'm going to teach you something awesome. So if you have already ordered Trezor wallet or you're planning to order one, in this video, you will learn how to start using Trezor wallet and if you have not ordered Trezor, you can order it from the link in the description. And let's go ahead, let's connect our Trezor to our computer and let's see how we can start using Trezor Wallet. Alright guys, so let's get started. The very first thing that you need to do is connect your Trezor with your laptop. But before that, what you need to do is go to Trezor website. Uh, you can go to Trezor.io or Wallet.Trezor.io. Now here, you need to install a Chrome extension if you're using Chrome browser. In case if you're not using Chrome browser and you are using Mac or you know any other operating system or you want to use any other browser, you need to download Trezor Bridge. You will also find the link for that in the wallet website. I've added the link in the description. In case of confusion, you can use the link directly. So once you have installed the extension, the Trezor app on your Chrome browser, let's connect our Trezor to our system. And that's the first screen which you see. Welcome, please visit tracer.io forward slash start. Tracer.io start. Now it's time for three simple steps before you set up your device. So we need to set up a pin. Uh, we need to make a copy of the recovery seed. And okay, so let's just keep the site. Let's launch the app. All right, so that's, that's the first thing which you get when you set up, connect your Trezor with your system. It says, uh, for security reasons, Trezor is shipped without firmware installed. All right, let's install it. It's downloading the firmware. Just making sure the website address is right. It's wallet.trezor, T-R-E-Z-O-R.io. And it shows, it's asking on my Trezor that, do you want to install new firmware? Click on continue. And it's installing hardly take, uh, I think this should take few seconds. All right, then it says, please make sure same fingerprint is displayed on the screen. Let's just check that and that's accurate. So let's just click on continue on the screen. And the firmware is successfully installed. Now the next step is to reconnect your device. So let's quickly unplug and plug. However, the build quality does not look so solid. Like, you know, it just feels like a plastic body, which I think they should improve in the time to come. All right, so Trezor app has already started and now it's time to configure everything. So let's name it, label the device as Coin Sutra. Click on continue. Now it says enter your new pin. The thing is like the pin is shown on the device. I mean the numbers are shown on the device, but you have to select the number on your screen. So just for the heck for the for this tutorial, uh, we'll select one, two, three, four. The point is like they keep randomizing the number. So there is no, uh, there is always uncertainty. So the guesswork won't work here. And that actually makes your Bitcoin secure. So we just enter. Now we have to enter the pin to enter the device. So let's quickly do that and enter all right so now the fun part starts it says like you have to take note of the seed word uh, this is a unique combination of 24 words and this is the most important part like if you really want to keep your bitcoin secure like even if you lose your wallet even if you lose your trezor wallet or hardware wallet this 24 with the 24 words you can recover your bitcoin so this 24 word is like your uh, key your passcode to access your bitcoin once you wrote, note it down, you have to keep it safe and secure. Nobody else should ever get access to this 24 word but you. So let's quickly note down the, you know, take a backup of this 24 words. So you have to click on the next to write down the next word. So next, you just have to press this button over here. All right, guys, so I've just finished writing all the 24 words. Now, one thing which is very important is uh, you verify all the words that you have written. So 
tracer give you option to verify the word definitely do that so here i am quickly doing that one important suggestion here like you know don't skip the word thinking like you know i've got it right for the first time please definitely verify all the words because sometimes certain words look similar and you end up missing it and that would be a big problem in in future so please ensure that you verify all the words carefully one thing which you should know you can't go back so that's a problem so make sure every time you skip to the next word you do it carefully and in case if you make a big mistake don't worry i will show you how you can reset your tracer wallet in the next video as well all right so this looks solid uh, everything is good all right guys so we have taken the backup of recovery c now let's just finish it and that's it it's asking you for the pin like you can see it's uh, uh, the codes codes are showing here now you have to enter it on your screen so one two three four of course never keep one two three four that's like one of the it's as good as not having a pin code and your pin code is most important thing i mean nobody can uh, get access to your pin because without pin they won't be able to transfer the bitcoin they can't steal your bitcoin so this is very important now this is what the interface of tracer looks like now everything will happen over here you can go to app settings and make changes if you like so you right now tracer supports bitcoin dash litecoin Z zcash and you can also select what currency value that you want to see so in this case we'll keep it as usd and let's just go back and you can have multiple account and it's similar to ledger nano s but i will leave this for the next video in the next video i will show you how to start using treasure how to transfer fund which is pretty easy and let's talk more about treasure and ledger nano s in the upcoming videos while you're watching harsh agarwal from coinsutra.com we talk about bitcoin wallet and you can learn a lot about bitcoin and cryptocurrency on our blog coinsutra.com well that's it see you in the next video bye bye this is harsh